So guys, for the first step, once you're on Steam, you want to find Rainbow. You want to right click on it, and then click on Properties, and then click on Installed Files, and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a while, we can do the next steps in the video as we wait for this to load. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search, and type in Firewall and Network Protection. Click on it. Now you want to click on Allow and Approve Firewall. You want to click on Change Settings. Now once you've done that, if you already see Rainbow, then you want to allow it through Firewall, you want to tick it. But if you don't see it, then click on Allow another app, and then click on Browse. Now you want to look for Rainbow. So for me personally, it's on my C drive, Program Files, scroll down to Steam, scroll down again, to Steam Apps, Common, and then for you, you should have a folder that says Rainbow on it. You want to double click on it, and then you want to find the Rainbow EXE file, you want to add it. And then click on add. I already have it here, but but once you add it, you want to click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. Now for the next step, I'm going to leave two links down below for NVIDIA and AMD. You want to make sure they have the latest drivers downloaded. Or you might already have the software for your graphics card. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and I've got GeForce experience, you want to click on drivers and then click on check for updates. If you have an update for your graphics card, you want to click on update. And then you want to head over to home, and you want to find rainbow. Once you find rainbow, you want to click on details. Then you want to click on the spanner. And then drag this to performance, and then click on apply. You will have something similar to that if you have an AMD graphics card. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.